Look at my wrist. 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 Yo, what is up, guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you the best color corrections for a Fortnite montage on DaVinci Resolve. I'll be going over the no plugin color corrections first, as they're the ones that are most expected, and like they're the ones that you guys hype up the most because it's no plugins. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, uh, right here on the effects tab, I'm already on it. Uh, I'm just gonna drag in the adjustment clip and put it over top of basically everything. I already have the velocity and everything sorted out in this because uh, this video is about color correction, not velocity or kills. So. That's just how it looks. I'm just gonna uh, make sure to drag out your adjustment clip throughout the whole project. Usually I like to put my color correction at the end of whatever I'm working on. Like I usually do it last so it doesn't like get in the way of anything. Uh, now that you have your adjustment clip over top of everything, go into the Fusion tab and put in the no plugin CCs. I don't know which one you guys might want. So for the chill CC, uh, I put that one in first and you can see this is how it looks like. It is much more bright, the saturation and hue are kind of adjusted a bit. So yeah, right here I'll show you guys how it looks like. It does look pretty nice, then here's how it would look like without it. So as you can see, there's a major difference. Uh, this one is brighter and the colors just pop out to you more. This one is more, you know, just bland. And it's like this one, this is without color correction by the way. This right here is with color correction. So yeah. Really good color correction in my opinion, especially for no plugins, so I hope to see you guys using this one. Now, for the second color correction, go back into the Fusion tab and just take out the first color corrector and drag in the saturation contrast. This is a more chill, actually not more chill, like more uh, highlight type uh, color correction. It's kind of like the Adobe Beast color correction. It's just darker, it has, it's like darker in contrast. And here's the difference between this color correction and a uh, normal video. So that's the difference. Uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of it's, it's kind of unique, I'll say. Maybe you, you want to adjust some settings, like kind of maybe change the contrast to maybe just like 1.05. Yeah, that would also look good. So I don't know. You guys can like completely fiddle with these, especially no plug-in ones. They're super easy to fiddle around with. So uh, yeah, those are the no plug-in color corrections. Uh, kind of I went over them and I don't know you guys you guys can choose whichever one you like the best Maybe you want to download both of them. I don't know uh, and yeah, I'll take this out now and Now for the magic bullet look color corrections uh, going to open effects uh, like I obviously you will need magic bullet looks and just type in looks and Just drag it in right here now go into the folder and go into magic bullet look CC's now I'll show you guys how to actually use these because a lot of you guys do have trouble uh, using Magic Bullet look color corrections from my videos. So what you're going to want to do is go to Windows, uh, type in percent local uh, app data, and put another percent. So you basically exactly this. Uh, and now I'm going to put open. And just uh, once uh, you're in here, go into search and uh, search for looks builder. Uh, yeah, right here, looks builder, uh, all in one word, click on it, and now you should see four things, one that says source tool, reference library, custom tools, looks, uh, go into looks, and now uh, you should have like your folders here, so if you guys have never used look bef looks before, this will be, uh, this will be, uh, probably, it'll only have one folder and it's called custom, I do have a lot, so I'm just gonna go into the new CC, and now pop up the folder that has uh, my uh, CCs. So go into your file explorer and, and just pop up where you downloaded my uh, color correction. So part two and uh, new CCs, I just pull it looks. What you're gonna do now is, now that you have both windows open, uh, drag this in into this one. Since I already have these, obviously it will say that I do have them, but uh, replace the files in its destination. And as you can see, they have uh, gone in nicely. Uh, it's kind of confusing because I already have both of them. But uh, yeah, now that you've done that, uh, let's get straight or er, back into tutorial. So right here, now that you've uh, dragged it in, go into the effects right here, edit look, and right here you guys should see a new CC. It's here. So I'm gonna show off uh, the God O Reddit first one. 
this is definitely my favorite color correction ever like i've ever used i've ever seen it is just so nice it's color correction uh for over edits it's, it's the exact same one that i use for my new montage and it's just so nice it looks like a frugal color correction uh and there's a way to like kind of adjust how it looks like uh mainly to change the blue so go into hsl colors right here and change the the hue of the cyan right here to whatever you prefer so if you want it like this make it like that but just drag the hue uh, i usually like to have it at around like 27 around there i'm just gonna put it to 25 for the sake of this video and yeah it does look really nice and yeah this is like a really nice over at color correction it's the one that everyone is using and the good thing about this is that you can like adjust it like i said before uh usually just adjust the blue so if you want to have it kind of lighter maybe put it to 10 and it will still look really nice and uh yeah i'm just gonna put it back to 25 or 20 so you guys can see like uh kind of fully see how this looks like it is really nice uh yeah it's super nice and yeah, that's the first color correction shown for the Magic Pool looks. Now I'll go back into Edit Look and choose Eon Similar. Uh, this is a more. This is really similar to the Chill CC for no plugins. Uh, it's kind of like Eon CC, a bit lighter. It's like a mix of Eon and Sac CC. I would say that. Uh, maybe go into Edit Look and to make it uh, look more like Eons, uh, go into Tools and drag in the color contrast. Actually, no, not color contract. Dragon, uh, just contrast right here. And change the contrast to something like uh, 0.1, maybe. That'll look a lot more like Eons. Uh, but I feel like that would be a bit too bright. Just fiddle around with uh, contrast. Maybe make it uh, 0 0.05. Yeah, that looks quite a bit like Eons. And uh, yeah, you know, just fiddle around with it. Uh, it like I'll just keep it as this so yeah right here this is Eon similar CC looks pretty good I do prefer the uh, the God of Reddit uh, over this though finally we do have the clean CC this is more like a numby yarn CC it's kind of like I don't know it's just brighter and there's a bit more contrast I think and the saturation is adjusted a bit uh, here's how it looks like with and without it yeah the hue is also adjusted by negative two I think and yeah, this is how it looks like. It's really similar uh, to it's uh, to the what's it called to the clean no plug in CC. So what I'd say from my looks, color corrections compared to my no plug in one, are that these two are really similar to the ones in the description, and this one's just unique, and it's just the best one in my opinion. So yeah, uh, I think that'll be the video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop. A like subscribe uh, buy my edit pack if you want it's only five dollars so it'll be in the description uh, it has all my presets that i used in the in the new montage that i made uh, it's called mad it's a really good over edit i uh, hope you guys check it out because it's really good i made it in like 30 hours so yeah i'm pretty proud of myself for that so yeah enough talking and i'll see you guys next time peace